Hey everyone, this is Rene from iMore.com and right now we're looking at the HS210, sort of the home media centric network storage appliance. So here's the problem. We have all the stuff sitting on our drives and we just want to get it on our TVs. And there's all sorts of solutions. There's streaming media boxes, there are ginormous storage appliances, but sometimes you just want something that's simple and easy and works. So enter the QNAP HS210. This isn't a giant 5, 8, 10, 12 bay redundant and striped storage system. This has two bays. So you can set it up, I mean if, if you like to live on the edge, you can set it up in scary RAID 0. Or what most people, what I did, you can set it up in RAID 1, which basically means what's ever on one disk is duplicated on the other disk. To access the QNAP, you just pull off the magnetic front plate, it comes off very easily. You can see one drive already in there. I want to add a second drive so I have some level of redundancy. I just slip it into place, push it right in, it mounts, take the front plate, snap it on, and I'm ready to go. Two discs are pretty much one disc, so it gives you a one level of protection. If you're really paranoid, you might want more, but again, if all you're doing is moving media files around, this should be plenty. The advantages of only going with two discs is it makes for a very sleek, very stylish design. They've made it look like brushed aluminum. They've made it look like a home theater component. A few years ago, this would have been your DVD player or your, you know, Blu-ray player. On the back, we have the power plug, SD card, double USB, Ethernet, double USB 3, and the power plug, and the power button. The idea is you set this up, you put it into your home theater, not off in some closet somewhere, though you could conceivably do that too, but it's a component that's supposed to live with everything else. It supports DLNA, if that's how you want to play, but it also supports Apple's AirPlay. So if you have an Apple TV, you can stream directly from the QNAP box right to your Apple TV, and that means you can have a ton. I mean, you can put one terabyte, two terabyte, whatever size 3.5 inch disks you have, or if you want to get a mounting bracket, you know, super fast SSD, drives, put them in there, you can stream all of your home media, anything on those drives, directly to your Apple TV. Now for the alpha level geeks among us, it does have a manager. Anyone familiar with the sort of uh, web-based managers from routers or other storage appliances or even websites will be familiar with how it works. You can go in there, uh, it runs a version of Linux, you can get down into it, you can manage your files, you can change the storage, you can do all sorts of that kind of stuff. But that's not the point of this. That's the point of the big ugly uh, arrays. This is something that's meant to be very simple. You plug it in, it does everything on its own. It'll detect your media, it'll transport your media. It is as close to plug and play as you can get for an appliance of this style. It does take a while to set up. Uh, you download the installer, it discovers it, it, launches the typical web interface you'd expect for any appliance, uh, and then it goes through updating the firmware, it goes through the setup. Uh, it did take longer to set up than I expected. My experience is these things are usually a little bit faster, but it is giving you a bunch of, it is doing a bunch of heavy lifting for you. So, you know, turn it on, let it go, get some coffee, come back, and once it's done, you plug your network cable into it and you're essentially good to go. So once again, if you're not looking for that massive machine to sit in your closet, and QNAP absolutely makes those if that's what you want, but if you want something to sit on top of or next to your TV, the QNAP HS210 is your go-to. So that was the QNAP HS210 home media centric storage appliance. For more, you can follow me at Rene Ritchie on Twitter and please subscribe to our YouTube videos at youtube.com slash imorevideo.